Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Baron raids the Sehanli farm and Kadir Sehanli appears and prevents him. Baron says even if this place is destroyed, I will not leave without taking Sevahir. When Sevahir hears Baron screams, he looks for a place to hide out of fear. When Kadir Sehanli sees that Baron is determined, he orders his men to bring Sevahir from inside. When baby Miran gets very restless and cries all the time, Dylan says, Don't be afraid, son, your father will come and hug and kiss you with God's permission. When the men go inside to get Sevahir, they cannot find him and say that he came and took the money and left. When Baron asks Kadir Sehanli, Are you playing games with me? He says, I don't play games. However, Baron sends his men inside to search. Just then, the commissioner Akif comes and learns that Sevahir has escaped and orders him to close all the roads and prevent him from escaping. Mr. Kadir says, this issue is not an issue between Sehanlis and Karabais, it is an issue between Sevahir and Baron, don't confuse us, he asked me for money to escape abroad, I'll give you that. Baron and Firet say that they believe that Sevahir will definitely not stop. Yasmin regrets throwing the ring away, and when she goes to get it back, Harun comes and can't take it. Harun thanks you, thank you, the orders wouldn't have been delivered without you, and goes to the sink. When Yasmin goes to the garbage, she sees that the garbage has been emptied. When Harun says that he threw away the order while taking it out, Yasmin thinks, oh no, it's already gone, but she can't say anything. When Sevahir calls Hassan and asks why you didn't inform me about the raid, Hassan says, I didn't know, no one was telling me anything. The incompetent guy hangs up the phone on him, wondering what use it will be. Hassan says I couldn't get rid of this guy again. Sevahir also thinks that I need someone else. Ghoul was very impressed by what happened and shared this with Dylan, saying that she even started questioning my decision to have a child. Dylan supports Ghoul by telling her that we have to stand together and believe in each other. Just then, Baron and Fired enter and they both go and hug their wives. Dylan understands from the expression on Baron's face that Sevahir has escaped again. No one answers. Baron takes Dylan's hand and goes to their room so that we can take care of Miran. Yasmin thinks she needs to check the trash can as soon as possible and waits for Harun to leave the shop. Then, when he doesn't seem to be leaving, he looks at Savary and asks for permission to come back and leaves the shop. When she goes to the garbage and sees that it has also been emptied, she gets angry with herself. Dylan says yes, I informed Akif, thank God, you are with me safe and sound, no matter how angry you get, but he is a little quiet because Miran had a hard time sleeping. When Baron pulls his arm aside and asks, when will you stop doing business without me knowing, Dylan explains that I never do anything behind your back, I wanted to protect my son's father. When Baron says accept it, you did wrong, Dylan says, in my opinion, you are right, you are the most important thing in my life, I will do whatever I have to do. Meanwhile, Miran wakes up and starts crying. Dylan says he wakes up very quickly these days and cries a lot. When Ms. Azaid hears his voice and comes and asks what happened to my son, she says Baron is sick. Dylan says don't say that, there is nothing wrong, God willing. When Ghul says, I'm so tired of living with smells all the time, Fireit says, you're right, but I'm also right to expect understanding. Do I want it to happen like this, but I have to, for the safety of our family and our future children? I want to talk about the ghoul child issue again, I don't want to think about it in this war environment. When I say I give up for now, Fireit says this is not a decision you can make alone, we have to decide together. However, when Ghoul says very determinately that I thought about it and did not postpone the baby issue, Fireit gets up and leaves in anger. Sevahir catches Gizm, the employee of the house, while she is returning from shopping and threatens to kill her mother. When he says, if you don't tell me everything that happened in the mansion, I will kill your mother, Gizm cowers in fear and just cries. 
They understand that the reason Miran is crying is because he has insufficient milk and that he needs to eat regularly and take care of himself in order to increase the milk. Ms. Azaid makes herbal tea for Dylan and brings it to Baron. She says to Baron, my son, not only with nutrition, from now on, Dylan should not do things that will upset my daughter. Baron says, you are right, grandma. Then they hug each other and say we know we will overcome everything. Haroon, with a flower in his hand, waits impatiently for Yasmin to return to the shop. When Baron tells the developments, Dylan says that it is very good, then Sevahir's running away abroad was the best decision he has ever made, of course he understood that he could not cope with you. Baron says okay, no more thinking about Sevahir, just focus on yourself and your nutrition. While Gizm thinks about what Sevahir said to Baron Karabai, you will not say a word to her, otherwise I will kill both you and your mother and wonders what to do, Baron comes. When Baron asks her to prepare a plate for Dylan, Gizm is about to say it. When Baron asks what happened, she changes the conversation and asks if she should prepare a plate for you too. When Baron says yes and leaves, his phone rings and it is Sevahir. When Firet notices that he is standing in the garden in a very sad state, Baron goes to him and asks why you are troubled. Firet Ghoul explains that he is so afraid that we decided to be a full family and gave up. Baron says you should be a little understanding, what we are going through is not easy, we will experience such things until we get rid of Sevahir, so we have to solve this issue. Firet says you are right and Ghoul is right, there will be no peace for us until we solve this issue. Dylan comes to Ghoul as soon as Miran sleeps. When Ghoul asks her how can you bear all this, Dylan says, firstly, I was getting strength from my love for Baron, and now from my son. Ghoul, you are very brave, I can't do it, I don't want children anymore, Sevahir says, it will end, something else will happen. Dylan talks about giving up on living these things with the fear of tomorrow, everything will pass, motherhood is such a beautiful feeling, why should we be deprived of this feeling? While Gizm comes to Miran and kisses him, Dylan comes and asks the dentist what you are doing. Gizm explains that I brought the fruit plate that Mr. Baron wanted and when I saw the room empty, I wanted to cover Miran. When she looks at Dylan as if she is going to say something, Dylan asks what happened, but Gizm still cannot say anything. Baron comes and Dylan looks like he has a problem. Baron says yes, but now it's time to make milk, come on, they sit down to eat fruit together. Baron sings Miran a lullaby in his arms to put her to sleep. Dylan is very pleased when he sees them like that. Then they put Miran to bed together. When Yasmin still hasn't returned to the restaurant, Haroon gets worried and is about to call, when Yasmin comes in covered in dirt. When Haroon asks what happened, did you fall in the garbage, Yasmin cannot say that she was looking for the garbage and says that she fell while trying to save the cat. Haroon gives the flowers he bought and apologizes to Yasmin. Yasmin apologizes to him and says I was wrong too. While Ms. Azade advises Hassan that what he is doing is right and continue like this, Mr. Kadret says, you should think twice when Hassan says it, he won't do anything if it is not in his main interest. Hassan said, what more can I do? I left the enemy at your feet. When Mr. Kudrat leaves them, he says, Mother, you see that you are alienated from your family by being excluded like this. Ms. Azade says, If you are sincere in your intentions, you will wait patiently for them to forgive and accept you, and I still haven't forgiven you. As Dylan gets up and goes to get some water, Baron grabs me and hugs me around the waist. When they get very close, Baron's phone rings. The caller is Akif, the commissioner, and he says that he came to the mansion to talk and calls Baron down. It is true that Akif Sevahir wants to escape abroad, but he tells Baron that he will not go without getting what he wants. After Baron says this man is always one step ahead of us, Akif goes to the commissioner. Meanwhile, Gizm listens to them. Yasmin is very sorry for throwing away the ring Harun gave her. And when Sevri comes to her, she tells her about it, crying. When Sevri advises us to think more calmly and decide when we get angry from now on, Yasmin says, don't do it, sister, I've already burned all the ships. 
When Baron comes to the room, Dylan brings the fruit plate prepared by Ms. Azaid along with the water he requested. When Dylan asks if you are bored about something, Baron says nothing can bother me right now, sit down and eat these. Dylan says, I think we succeeded, Miran is fed, I am very lucky, Ms. Azaid took very good care of me. Then there are close encounters, and when they wake up in the morning, there are still moments full of love. When Baron catches Gizm in Miran's room, he asks her what was the reason for listening to my conversation with Akif yesterday, Gizm is very scared but says he threatened me. When Baron asks who threatened him, no one can harm you, he says it is Gizm Sevahir. Then he tells Gizm that from now on, you will do what I say. While Dylan is talking and taking care of Miran, Baron comes into the room in a bad mood. Even if Dylan asks, he dismisses it as nothing. Dylan, my son, do you know that your father is hiding something from me again, but he doesn't know that I can understand everything from his eyes, and when you grow up, I will understand everything from your eyes. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.